Though the bedrock in the decentralization process appears to be going well, their relevance is waning in the local governance system. In the following report, Lucy Ayambila finds out if indeed unit committees are making the impact expected in the communities. Article 240, Clause 2A of the 1992 Constitution provides for the transfer of functions, powers, responsibilities and resources from the central government to local government units. Clause 2 of the Article 240 of Ghana's Constitution states that to ensure accountability of local government authorities, people in particular local government areas shall as far as practicable be afforded the opportunity to participate effectively in their governance. Thus, participation and accountability at the unit committee levels are therefore constitutional requirements. They form part of the substructures of the local assemblies, serving as a link between the assemblies and people. Thus, their functions cannot be overlooked in the decentralization process. Among their mandated functions are to supervise the staff of the local assemblies in performing their duties in its area of authority, assist the assembly in revenue collection, educate people on their rights, organize communal labor, provide focal points for the discussion of local matters and make recommendations to the assembly. Ghana holds district level elections every four years to elect assembly members and unit committee members for the various electoral areas across the country. But people seem to forget about these unit committees right after elections. Well, in my interaction with a couple of them, they told me they are unable to function effectively due to some challenges they are faced with. They contend lack of training and allocation of resources is impeding their work. I have interest in governance or like, like the local government concept, so I said, well, let me try. We went for an orientation some years back, no remuneration, nothing. Even the assembly members, they are giving just only certain allowances. How much more the income committee member? Oh, four years ago, you know, council and flying, the assembly man, the engineer. The local assembly did not hold any meeting with us in the last four years, so we were only elected into office, and that is all. I even lost interest in it. Some people I spoke with were of the view unit committees only exist by name. Data, a problem. Electricity, into baby. We voted for them based on some expectations. The candidates spend money on elections just to win votes, but they are unable to function after they have been elected into office. So I think the unit committee elections should be cancelled. Benjamin Kojotu is the district chief executive for Gomua Central. A few years that I have been here and I have interacted with some of them, I think that the, the major challenge is not from the assembly but from the community and then the chiefs within some of these communities. Some of them, because of the way they themselves carry themselves, the chiefs do not want to, to, to involve them in their deliberations and their key decisions. And that is where they usually become more functional because they are within the community. And therefore, if they are close to their chiefs and their opinion leaders, I'm sure that most they will become more relevant. Some assembly members express their views about unit committees. We were advocating that even the assembly members must be given monthly stipends, and if that can be channeled also to the, uh, uh, the, 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 the unit committee members, they will work effectively. Any assembly member whose committee members work effectively becomes automatically a very effective assembly member. Unit committees. You know, you know, need to be given you know, the importance that comes with the job they do because they are the first people that the community people engage with. For all you know, they might be sworn in as a very you know, secret without any you know, pageantry and fanfare. Not, not to say that the pageantry and the fanfare is important, but at least if you swear them uh, in as a function like this, it also boosts their morale. An economist and a development policy expert, Dr. Erika Kubing adds, the unit committees since their creation by the Local Government Act 1993 have suffered several setbacks and need to be given some level of recognition from the central government to make it attractive. Even as a country, we should have a kind of uh, broader stakeholders consultation forum 
we've been concentrating only on the election of MMDCs. But for decentralization to work, if you look at the success stories of decentralization in South Africa and Uganda, it's by empowering the unit level, the village level uh, uh, system. That is what they are doing and that's why they are powerful. So we should be able to do the same. He says Ghana's decentralization must go beyond the administrative setup to an improved fiscal decentralization involving economic empowerment of the assemblies, unit committees and other district substructures by ensuring that mandated functions are backed by resources. Lucy Ayambila, TV3 News. Aguna Suedru.